In this video, we will be designing a 2 cross 1 multiplexer and a 4 cross 1 multiplexer using NMOS fast transistor logic. So here is a basic schematic of a how a 2 cross 1 multiplexer looks like. It is as similar as an NAND and other gates. But variables at the gate terminal and as well as the input terminal will vary. We should derive it from the truth table. Let us do that. Here is a truth table for a 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Whenever the control signal is 0, we should have the input A at output. Whenever the control signal is 1, we should have the input B at output. Therefore, for a 2 cross 1 multiplexer, we have two inputs A and B. One will be available at a time at the output based on the control signal. So, first step is to replace 0 with S bar and 1 with S in the column S. Let us do that. It is done. So now it is very easy. We have only two combinations, one with S bar and other with S. Whenever there is S bar, we need A. Whenever there is S, we need B. Directly replace it in the figure. Whenever the control signal is S bar, we need A. Whenever the control signal is S, we need B. What will be the output expression? F is equal to A into S bar plus B into S which becomes the final expression of a 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Now let us do the same for a 4 cross 1 multiplexer where we will have 4 inputs A, B, C, D. Therefore 2 power 2, 2 control signals S0 and S1. We have 4 inputs A, B, C, D. So at one time whenever the control option is 0, 0 we will be having only 1 variable at the output either it may be A or B or C or D. So the same procedure is followed here. First we have to write the truth table. It carries 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 all possibilities for the select lines S0 and S1. What, what we generally do? We replace in every column with zeros with the corresponding head. If it is 0 it is S1 bar. When it is 1 it should be S1. 0 means S0 bar, 1 means S1. Let us do that first. Now it is done. So what we are going to do? First we are going to combine these two logic. So now there is no nothing common between all three variables. It is just S1 bar and S1 bar here. So let us have it right now. When we compare output and as well as S0, whenever it is S0 bar, we need A. Whenever it is S0, we need B. The control input itself is varied. Therefore, we have to design in two different ways. First, we have to design for F and S0 combination. And therefore, for these two combinations together, S1 bar is the control signal. Therefore, first we will design these two combination, club those two for S1 bar. So, right now, let us jump into the figure. It is S0 bar, the control signal. What will be the output? It should be A. So that should be the input for S0 bar controlled. So S0 bar input is A. Now it is S0. What do you want at the output? I want B. Therefore when it is S0, I need B. Both the logic together controlled by S1 bar. Let us do that. So both controlled by S1 bar. When we look at the next set of combinations, we have S1 in common. But look into these two. When it is S0 bar, I need C. When it is S0, I need D. Therefore, let us do that here. S0 bar, I need C. When it is S0, I need D. These two combinations are common for the control signal S1. So, these two combinations are together clocked and controlled by S1 where this S1 and S1 bar will be mapped together. So, when I write the expression, what happens? It is A S0 bar travelled through S1 bar. Therefore, S1 bar S0 bar A plus what is the other path? The path with B. So, S1 bar S0 B. S1 bar S0 B. What is the third possibility? S1 S0 bar C. So, S1 S0 bar C. Plus, what is the fourth combination? S1 S0 D. So S1 S0 D. This becomes the expression of 
a 4 cross 1 multiplexer. Therefore, we have designed two different multiplexer. One it is 2 cross 1, the other one is 4 cross 1 from the table. I hope you understood. Thanks for watching the video.